Today I'm sitting on the floor and we're going to be doing a PR unboxing. I have a bunch of boxes behind me. I don't really do these very often on my channel. I used to do them a little more frequently. Usually I like to just kind of open everything up on my own so I can like try them out in videos as soon as possible, but I've been so crazy busy lately. I'm going out of town this week for a few days and I want to get these boxes taken care of. So let's go ahead and unbox everything. I'm so excited to get into these packages and see what's kind of new in beauty. I usually get a pretty wide range of products. Most perfumes I've already unboxed in a couple of things I've opened already that I was like super excited about and wanted to do videos on but yeah we have a lot to go over let's start with this one right here this is from one of my favorite brands brown sugar babe they actually make body oils scented body oils that smell just as strong as perfumes sometimes even stronger they're seriously the best and I've seriously like so just happy to be on this list because I have purchased their body oils for years. I've probably purchased like 10 of them myself. They're a little more expensive, but like I said, they're even stronger than a lot of perfumes and they make a lot of dupes. So this is the new It's Me season. It's I think this is their collection called It's Me. We have three new body oils that are inspirations. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Kiss Me, Touch Me, and Marry Me. They also sent a little extra. They've been doing some extras lately, and we got a cute little mug. And the body oils. Oh, what's this? There's a little journal in here, too. It's me season. Cute. I could put some different YouTube ideas in there. Oh, my gosh. There's a t-shirt in here, too. Wow. A little t-shirt, too cute okay let's go over the scents because these sound so good like i said these are all impressions of popular perfumes this first one is kiss me now i am not familiar with the perfume this is duping but it's duping bulgari allegra bakimyami bakiyami not super familiar with it um with these they have the little tab you can flip up and then pour out the scent Ooh. That's very floral. I'm just gonna do like the tiniest amount. These are so nourishing. And just kind of spread that into my hand. Mmm. If you guys like really sweet florals, I think you would love it. This is a very sweet floral with gardenia being the prominent note here. Vanilla and amber. Ooh, the amber comes out kind of as it's drying down. You know, I'm not always big on florals, but I don't hate this one. I will be honest with you. The last launches from Brown Sugar Babe have been very missed for me, but these I know I'm going to love. Okay, next we have Marry Me. And this one I have been dying to get my hands on because this is inspired by the ever so popular, ugh, impossible to get, Kayali Silk Santel from her wedding collection. And usually the brown sugar babe dupes are spot on. I just don't know. Is Mona bringing that scent back or what is happening with it? Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, it totally smells like Silk Santel. Yeah, that's like the closest thing I have found to it. Wow, that is gorgeous. So this one has lots of notes. Champagne is one of the most prominent. There's a ton of fruity notes. It has freesia, black currant, nectarine, pink praline. There's jasmine, rose, orange blossom, santal, oakwood, vanilla. A lot going on in this scent. But yeah, it's like a fruity kind of version, almost a vanilla 28. And it is beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited that they duped that one. So if you haven't been able to get your hands on the KLA Silk Santal, you don't want to pay the crazy markup prices by the resellers. This body oil will perform even better than the perfume, guaranteed. Okay, last one. This is Sol de Janeiro inspired. This is called Touch Me. And this one is inspired by Sharosa 87. Which one's 87? Oh, okay. 87 is Rio Radiant. So it's going to be that sunscreen scent. Yep. <laughs> Spot on. I have the dupe for, they have, they have an oil for a 71 too, which is my fave. Yeah, that is spot on. I love these oils. Definitely check them out. They are worth the money. You can layer them with your perfumes to make them last even longer. But yeah, these are just incredible on their own. And 
I've been so excited to try this collection out, especially the Kaoli dupe. Next box is from Pacifica. Oh yeah, I remember they did mention sending this over. I'm so excited for this. It's Pacifica Moisturizing Oil Cleanser. It's new. It's called Melt For You with peach flower oils and kombucha in the formula. I love a good cleansing oil. This looks so nice. I use these all the time in the shower. I use them before I do my normal cleanser to get all my makeup off because, I don't know, the oil cleansers just seem to get everything off and you don't have to dig your hands into a balm and kind of like get all gunky, messy. These are just so much easier. So I'm really excited to try this one from Pacifica. Let's see if it smells. Oh my gosh, it smells like peaches. That is so fun. We got something from L'Oreal. It says, welcome to Team Infallible. We got the Infallible collection. Oh, they sent over the highlighter. I actually don't have this shade. I purchased the other highlight that's in like more of like a champagne color, but this is like the pearly one. This one is Icy Gold, which kind of looks like that. I've also been so curious about this. This is their Brow Laminating Gel. I just picked up the Maybelline one. I actually tried that one today. It's so good. So I'm curious to see how the L'Oreal one compares. We have an Infallible Matte Resistance, which is bold color that is smudge resistant. That's going to be really nice to have a red and then I've been dying to try this too. Oh my gosh, the Infallible Setting Mist. I think people have been comparing this to the one size, but I feel like maybe they said this one's stickier. I don't know. Yeah, it does. It honestly feels like hairspray. It's a little sticky. The one size honestly kind of reminds me of hairspray too. I am so excited to try these out. We got something from Paula's Choice Skincare here. One of my favorite brands. Oh, this is cute. So this is their new Pro Retinaldehyde Dual Retinoid Treatment. This says it's high potency, but still gentle on the skin. I really need to use a good retinol. I'm so bad about applying it. I used to use a prescription one. I stopped using it because I was tired of my skin just being so dry and flaky with it. So I stopped for a while. So I'm like, maybe if I use something that's a little bit less harsh, which I know ones that you can buy in the store like this, they're never going to have like a super high amount in like the ones that you get with your prescription. So this could be good. It says 100% of people had improved luminosity and texture and 94% said it felt gentle on the skin. So honestly, I think I might try this and see how it goes because, yeah, I need to do some better anti-aging products. I've been just a little simple with my skincare lately, but I mean, it has been working for me, so I don't know. We got more skincare from Bubble. They are more of an affordable line. Oh, how cute. Little stickers. Uh, you know, I'm a Disney fanatic. They sent over their products with inside out packaging i need to see this movie the inside out too so this is just a regular stuff but it just has special i don't know if it's just the outer layer or it's the inside too oh cute yeah the actual packaging has them on it as well so this is just their gel cleanser just a really nice gentle one honestly this line is very comparable to drunk elephant in my opinion but like a fourth of the price of Drunk Elephant. They even have really fun packaging. So I feel like this brand is really good for teens, even preteens, wanting to get into skincare, but you don't want to buy them the $75 Drunk Elephant stuff. I don't know if that's still trending, but like, I don't know, just do Bubble instead. They're so good. This is their Slam Dunk Moisturizer, but yeah, I love that they have the little inside out characters on there. Oh my gosh, there's another big box from L'Oreal. Look at this. Ooh, that's huge. I think this is all the new launches from them. Oh my word. I picked up a couple of these things um, in store a month or two ago. I need to try them still, but we literally got all of the liquid <laughs> blushes. Wow. This one is dewy worth it. This is a nice peach. It has really good pigment. Let's see how it blends. It's nice and glassy. I actually think that looks really good. I did try the Maybelline liquid blushes that just came out recently. I don't think I'm a fan of those. But these honestly look pretty promising. So I will have to test those out very soon. I just filmed a testing new drugstore makeup today. So this look should already be on my channel, I think, with some other drugstore stuff. But we will definitely have to try these next or maybe i can make like a fun little swatch video with them 
They also sent over a ton of eyeshadow sticks as well, which I have been loving eyeshadow sticks lately, especially in summer, just to throw on the eyes. Most times when I'm out and about not filming, I'm not wearing like a full face of makeup, but I want a little something, so that's perfect for that. But at the same time, I feel like a lot of eyeshadow sticks look the same, so I'm like, let's see like if these are really much different, but there is some really nice colors in here. I like to swatch like a couple. Let's see. I kind of want to swatch this bronze. I'm such a sucker for a bronze shadow. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty. They are very creamy. Looks very promising, honestly. These kind of look even better than the Milani ones that I've been liking. The Milani ones are a little glittery, but these are just nice shimmers. They did send a couple lip liners. I don't know if these are new, the Color Riche ones. I've never tried their lip liners before. Also a couple lipsticks. Again, I don't know if these are new shades. We have Worth It. Just a nice creamy pink. I hate the smell of the L'Oreal lipsticks. They smell like chemicals and powder. But they do have a good formula. It's just the smell that gets me. That mauve one is called Worth It Medium. Ooh, are these Charlotte Tilbury dupes? That has to be because Charlotte Tilbury also came out with Pillow Talk Fair regular and medium and deep so i'm thinking they're going for the charlotte tilbury vibe this looks cute lash paradise mascara in latte i love a good brown mascara i have not used paradise in a long time so thank you so much l'oreal for all the goodies next we have pixie i think there's a couple of pixie packages in this haul Ooh, cute these are lip treatments it says lip basically just lip balms it's an elixir that's more than a balm for naturally beautiful lips. It has avocado oil and they're supposed to be deeply hydrating. I was almost thinking these were like little cheek sticks because I know their cheek sticks are pretty popular. Let's see. This is peachy. Cute. Yeah, honestly it looks like it could be a blush stick and a lipstick, but it just says lips. Tinted lip balm. Smells minty, and that's kind of like what the peach ones looks like. So it does definitely have some pigment to them. Next box is from Clarins. They usually send me skincare or lip products. So, ooh, wow. That's fun. This is lit up. <laughs> this is their Double Serum. This is one of their best selling skincare products. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it has a light back there because it is glowing. Oh, yeah, it does. That's so cool. Oh, look at that. That's so fun. I have never tried this product from them. Let me know if you guys have, but yeah, I just know it's very popular from them. Actually, I think this is a different version of the double serum. I think they actually made it even better according to this. It says it's inspired by five years of epigenetics research. It's a two-in-one formula that pushes the boundaries by targeting two types of aging, chronological and now environmental. So it must have added in the environmental aging as well. It has 22 powerful plants and five active molecules. It says one drop for younger looking skin in seven days. Wow, that is some big claims there. Again, let me know if you guys have tried this. I might have to give this a try because it seems like it could be just like an all-in-one. Nice little serum to do at night, help with some fine lines. We'll see. Next box, I don't know who this is from. It says P-O-G-I Beauty. Oh, this is from one size. <laughs> That is so funny. I was like, who's Pogi Beauty? I don't know why it says that, but wow, they said a ton of stuff. It's basically just a restock. This is one PR list that I'm like so grateful to be on because I love one size products. They are amazing for oily skin and I love their stuff just so much. I use the crap out of them. I got the Secure the Sweat Primer. This is not their newest one, but I actually just ran out of this. So that is perfect. I really like this one. It's supposed to be a sweat proof while they also have their what's it called whatever their mattifying primer is I don't know if they sent that one in here it's their newest one that's just more for mattifying they have the secure the blur this was their first primer that they came out with it's probably my least favorite of the three. Oh, we got a ooh a blush an attention seeker this pink one I do have that one already so that'll go in a giveaway this huge puff restock on the setting spray this is my favorite setting spray little mini that's gonna be perfect in a full size we got the pink powder 
I need to try this one again. I didn't love it at first just because I feel like it didn't do much for me. And I got the peach one, which will definitely go in a giveaway too. But thank you One Size for all of the restocks. I'm so excited. I definitely go through their products quite frequently. This is kind of interesting, but it's from Kiehl's and it is actually made for your private parts. So let's let's see what it is. This is what the package looks like. It says Kiehl's is getting personal. And then we have the products in here. Okay, so actually we have, oh, this is actually really nice. Ingrown Hair Intimate Drops. Definitely could use that. It's supposed to improve the appearance of ingrown hairs and discoloration in your sensitive areas. And then this is interesting. It's a over and under cream to powder deodorant for down there too. Because, I mean, we do get a little sweaty down there sometimes in the summer especially. So that's kind of interesting. I was using like, oh, who's it from? There's another brand that makes those cream deodorants that I've been using that's an all-over deodorant, and I can't remember the brand, but it's like at Target and Walmart. So this is kind of cool that Kiehl's is doing one too. And then they sent pineapple gummies, which if you know, you know pineapple is supposed to make you smell better. I don't know. That's just what I've heard. It says if you know, you know on here. What is this? Oh, we got something from Parade. They sent us little underwear. It's a little boxer shorts. That is so cute. Parade and Kiehl's. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm actually pretty pumped about this. This sounds very interesting. We got a box from Elf. It says the latest drops for your eyes, lips, and face. So we got this. Oh fun, it's a little punch out one. It says unbox four of the hottest drops for your eyes, lips, and face. This says meet our coolest new primer. Ooh, I haven't tried this. This is the Stay Cool Primer Stick. Oh, that could have been fun for summer. I feel like I've had this package for a month or so. A little behind. It says keep an elfing lid on it. Oh, Lock It Down Eyeshadow Primer. Another product I have not tried. This is Get Your Brows Laid. <laughs> I think I just picked this up. Yeah, I did. It is the Brow Laminating Gel from e.l.f. And then we have SPF Like a Gloss. Oh, shoot. I just broke that one. But this is their SPF glosses over here. I have tried these. I will be quite honest with you. I'm not a big fan of them just because I don't love the formula. I mean, that's great that they have SPF in these. Very uneven going on, and I feel like you have to really, like, put on several coats to get them even on the lips. So that's, like, my one gripe with them. They did send over quite a bit of colors. I need to do an updated, like best and worst new drugstore video and update you guys on some of the stuff I've tried this year. All right, we got a box from Essence, another fun drugstore brand. I feel like I'm unboxing all my summer packages and it's now like fall season, <laughs> September. Oh, these are cute. Let me turn it around. Look how fun. We got these Baby Got Glow liquid highlighters and Baby Got Blush liquid blushes. Oh, these are fun. I love the packaging. Cannot wait to try these. Yeah, I need to do another testing new drugstore makeup, but they're like the poof ones, kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury. Let's see. I'm just not, I'm not wearing highlighter as much anymore. Just because I am so oily, I just don't need it. This color is beautiful though. This is Sassy in Silk. Look at that shine. Let's swatch this one, Dusty Rose. That's nice too, you guys. It reminds me of the L'Oreal one a little bit, just different packaging. But it looks pigmented. It's a little bit stickier in formula, a little bit harder to blend out. It dries down faster. So we'll have to see how that is on the cheeks. But we got four blush shades, three highlighters, and we all know Essence is super affordable. So I'm sure that these are pretty inexpensive at Ulta. I'll try to link some stuff if I can. They also sent this little, it's like a mini towel. I don't know what I would do with it. I guess I could use it as a little dish towel. Maybe I could put it in my camper. That's cute. And then these little clips as well. I could use these as little chip bag clips. We got a giant box from Laura Mercier. I think I know what's in here because I've seen some people unbox these. So it says, discover the latest in caviar. It looks like they have a new lip collection. Wow, oh my gosh. They sent literally, I feel like every, every single eye stick in here, you guys. 
it does say on here the caviar stick eyeshadows are new and improved so it looks like they improved the formula it says rediscover Laura Mercier's iconic eyeshadow shimmer. They now have a smoother formula with 24 hour comfortable wear and intense color that lasts without creasing. Available in 19 shades. Wow! Okay, so they did improve the formula. That's really exciting. I do like the Laura Mercier ones, but they can be a little bit like hard to blend, a little bit tough on the eyes. They also got a new mascara. It's called Caviar Extravagant Mascara, the new Noir, which it says it gives 12 times volume and length for dramatic length and volume while strengthening the lashes. It's supposed to effortlessly build for lightweight layering without flaking or smudging. Love that. We also have a ton of new lip liners too. They're Caviar Perfecting Lip Liners. It says that these are also new. They give 16 hour hydration, a comfortable non-dragging application. They're feather and waterproof, which of course brands can say that all they want, but you gotta really put it to the test. And then lastly, we have the lipsticks. These are caviar smoothing matte lipsticks. <gasps> these look so fun. Okay, let's watch this one. This is blush chenille. Oh my gosh, beautiful packaging. Laura Mercier is a brand I feel like does not get enough love. They are very luxe. It says LM on the inside. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah. That feels like silk, guys. So smooth. This is really beautiful packaging. It has the magnetic closure. Very luxe. Let's swatch pink chiffon too. I can't wait to try these. This looks so good. Do not sleep on Laura Mercier. They have some bomb products. Oh, that is gorgeous. Like a dusty rose. So yeah, they have this beautiful new caviar line. These lipsticks I'm probably most excited about. I'm also very pumped that they redid their eyeshadows too. This is so insane. But thank you so much, Laura Mercier. Also just wanted to throw this out there, but lately I've been doing little giveaways for any up and coming small creatures creators because I know how hard it is to get started you feel like you have to buy everything so I've been mostly doing like makeup giveaways with some fun PR I've got two small creators currently I have thrown some other giveaways in here and there but yeah if you are a small creator feel free to reach out to me on Instagram I'll get your name added to my list of contacts because yeah we have a lot of stuff in here I have a lot of repeat things and some stuff to give away so I always just keep like a full list of people to kind of send a surprise package too. Alright guys, we're almost done. Oh, I did get this from Fleur. I've kind of already talked about these a little bit. I don't know why. I, I feel like I got this one later than everyone, um, but I did receive their three new fragrance mists. I already purchased these. I already talked about them on my channel, but I did get the Caramel Skin, the Heavy Cream. The Caramel Skin to me, it smells like true deep yummy caramel. It's perfect for fall. It's very warm and cozy. Heavy Cream, honestly, it was a little a bit coconutty to me it kind of gave like coconut cold foam from like an iced latte and then I also got coconut skin which is a very fresh coconut it's not super sweet or anything like that next box is from Colourpop Ooh, these look fun it says instant crush lip and cheek bones I love the packaging on these it's like the clear plastic with the heart Ah, oh, that is so cute. So these are like cream blushes. I guess lip and cheek. This is Larchmont Village. Let's swatch this one. This looks beautiful. They're very glassy looking. There's a swatch there. It does say that these are hydrating um, balms and eight wearable shades for a dewy pop of color in the cutest clear heart compacts. Definitely adorable packaging. I love trying new ColourPop products. I don't know if these will be too glassy for me. I will have to test these out and see how it goes. I wasn't a huge fan of ColourPop's last cream blushes that they did, so I'm hoping that these are a little better. I just feel like the other ones barely showed up on me and kind of faded pretty quickly. Okay, guys, we are on the very last box, and it is from Naked Sundays. And they make a lot of, like, sunscreen products, usually. All right, so it says world first beauty screens are here. Ooh, skincare meets makeup meets SPF. 
I love their packaging. It's so fun. So this says that these are SPF 50 plus a perfecting skin tint and they also has skincare ingredients in it like niacinamide, polyglomatic acid, squalane, squalane, I never can say that correctly, and peptides. So this is like packed with good stuff. There's two shades here that I received, shade three and two. I'm very curious about this. There's even a little brush to apply it. I don't think they've done like a complexion-ish product like this besides their SPF. So I'm actually really excited to try this out. It's supposed to have a satin matte finish, which love that. There's 14 shades, so I just got a couple, and then it's buildable coverage. So yay! I am excited. So many fun new things to try. Wow, wow, wow. Like I said, I could literally do a testing new makeup like every week, I feel like. It's so hard to stay like up to date on everything because I feel like I'm even behind on updating you guys. But you guys know when I do my testing new makeup videos, I always do wear tests. I'm always 100% honest. Those videos are usually never sponsored. Um, and it's always just my 100% honest thoughts. So thank you to all the brands that sent these things over. Let me know in the comments which things you're most excited for me to try next. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.